Hello, welcome to another Ball Blog Video Diary Supplement. We're getting a bit of sunshine today, but we've had some miserable, wet, cold weather. That's not done the gardeners or the plants any good. The poor phloxes in this bed are struggling in the wet, damp weather. Not at all what they'd be used to in their high mountain, sunny homeland, but you can see the light and shade we're getting. Good strong sunshine of the raised beds. They all spend some time of each day, if the sun is out that is, in sun and sometimes in shade. So this one we're looking at now is in shade, was in sun an hour or so ago. So they all get a bit of sunshine and shade. In the back we've got some boxes of Corizalis crates in purple for propagation. If we go round here, we can see up towards the pe peony. Peony de la Vale, these deep, deep, dark red flowers with that lovely bright green ovary in the centre. It's one of the tree peonies. We have a number of tree peonies. Round on the raised beds they're starting to look a bit better. They're at long last getting some growth and coming out of their winter state. Come round here as a, a nice erodium on this corner here. This was one we raised from seed we got from a friend in Spain. So it's, I can't remember its name. Growing here with some dwarf willows. See the little catkins. Three different forms of dwarf willow there. Then if I come over we've got some more phloxes. Some oxalis seeing the sunshine. And typical of the bad weather here is some of the Dactylorhiza purpurella, early purple just coming through. But when they go under strain you can get this illness, this fungal bacterial rot that comes in and takes them down. Now whether it will kill it all the way down to the tuber or just take off the top but there's one infected there, but further around in the same bed we've got others that are perfectly healthy, so. But when plants are under stress, and they've been under stress in this weather, just like humans, that's when illness and sickness can attack. Erythroniums, leaves are going down. The other feature that's of late, of it being cold after a very warm February, we went into two months of really colder than the seasonal average would suggest it should be. But not only was it cold, it was very dry. So things have been held back. The Mechanopsis just starting to open now. We're just seeing the first of the, the Mechanopsis. And again, with the hot, dry summer, they didn't get into growth until quite late last summer after the flowering. So they're a bit, a bit late and not quite so big as they usually are. However, if we had plenty of rain this last wee while, so we'll get more. Let's just come round to the bed, the Dicentra. I made the mistake of feeding this bed. Well, it's maybe not a mistake, I wanted to feed the bulbs below, but the Dicentra has really thrived on it and got a bit out of hand, so I will do something about that and thin it down a bit. Let's come in, here's another group. Corridalis crate in purple. And see how it goes in with the, the various ferns and the Dicentra foliage. 
I'm there with trillium luteums. Really nice trillium luteum. And here's a trillium erectum, form of trillium erectum. I had been thinking these were hybrids, but thanks to a friend sending me pictures of wild populations, I, I now think they might just be variations on Trillium erectum. I'll have to rethink my... Here we have Arisema nepenthoides poking up through there. Come round the pink aquilegias that have seeded down up above our head. Most of the older rhododendrons are way over twice my height, so they're away, flowers are way above my head. And this is a an old hybrid Albert Schweitzer. Up there is decorum, where they meet. You get the pink and the white, the decorum, of course, beautifully scented. We've got them raised up, so they... All the lower branches were, have been taken off over many years, so we can get plants right in underneath. So there's, we've got lilies and cardiocrinum giganteum, there's aracemas, there's more trilliums and all sorts in there. Around this side, this is another seed raised rhododendron, raised from seed collected in China in the Himalaya. I'm not sure what it is, it's not dissimilar to decorum, so it's that sort of group. Other rhododendrons, the flowers are over. The trillium beds, the trilliums. While they quite like the dampness we're getting now, we've not enjoyed the cold weather where they've been in flowers. It's, you can see the toll it's taken on their flowers. Although they've been out for some time, they were fresh when they first came out. Now showing the, the signs of being a bit battered by the weather. We just spin around and look across the other side, another seedling of decorum. Two seedlings planted side by side, so kind of forming one large canopy, going right, right up and into the acers. Looking across in the distance, you can see there the that's the rhododendron rex, the fictolacteum. Round in the new bed, there's some nice fat seed pods appearing on some of the erythroniums. The colours changed in the Ramondas, we've had the dark forms of Ramonda, Nathaliae and some of the other forms. Now we've got a pale, pale pink form of Ramonda Myconi out in flower at the moment. And just uh, looking across. Round behind me the Penguicola Island under its wire mesh to protect it because the birds were pulling all the moss off it and I lost quite a few of the penguicolas but there's still some there but amazingly these orchids have self-seeded and there's masses of orchid seedlings all all around down here but they're growing in literally a layer of moss sitting on top of a rock see at the far end there's primulas in the marginal bed Above me here we've got the laburnums, some out, some just waiting to come out. Another rhododendron above my head, Fortuny. The sorb is coming into flower as well. But it's lovely when we get a bit of sunshine, I just wish we could get some warmth and Ideally, I would like some prolonged warm weather with some good rainfall each night. If I'm allowed to choose, that's what I would have. 
So down in the new planting we've got some of the Primula japonicas and Calanthes. We have the pines. Mm -hmm. Needing candle prune soon so these what you need to do is you take the long growth and while it's young and fresh you can just snap it off or snap it back and cut it back by a bit so you get the lovely shorter growth and more compact growth. More orchids down here. Sadly these lilies they've not opened yet but already the weather's pushing them over. They've just not got to open properly. We come round here again the Rhododendron decorums. Quite happy to leave some of the Mechanopsis cambrica because they tie in really well the yellow of the of those flowers. And if we just come up to the the tree of peony, we've got the same reflected and going up. And these are the seedlings down here and up to the parent plant away up there. So I'll spin round. You can see the from the erythronium seed pods they've finished flowering and now setting seed. We've got some of the nice Corridalis, Eucronopetala, more lilies to come out, dwarf lilies. If I come up here, we've I've walked past quite a number, but you hardly notice them unless you're really looking Paris. And the start of the Arasima season, we've got quite a lot of Arasimas. I just come right down to get right down low. You can see the Arasima Wilsoni. He's wonderful flowers on what are fairly modest leaves at the moment but the leaves will get very large and as always when I come out with my video there's no airplanes for hours and hours and then as soon as I come out with a video an airplane comes into land So we just have a look around, more Corridalis, great and purple and I've got it trial in, in all different sites in the garden so it's in full sun, it's in full shade and we've got it in various sites to see how it works and how it grows and so far it's doing well in the mall. Should look at the Selmizia, Selmizia walkeri white daisy from New Zealand, getting a bit sprawly going out over the path. So get that cut back, I'm in the process of cutting it back and if you read the ball blog you'll see I've got my mist unit running to, to root cutting so I've taken cuttings so it'll allow us to cut back these plants a bit and still have plenty of young ones to come on. Big forest of of Erythronium, Revolutum, seed heads, below the wall, raised wall, and I think we'll just come round here to, to finish up, here with the Herberlia that I planted out into the wall just last summer, really they've all settled in beautifully don't want a weed in there. So they're really looking good. All along the face of the wall. Looking really nice. 
and I think that's probably as good a place as any to end this short walk around to see how the garden's faring in the rather poor weather. But as I say, if the sun stays out for a while, hopefully it will improve and we'll get a bit of real summer weather. So thanks for your company again. I'll see you again in a few weeks time with my next video.